<coughs> hey everyone, James here. I'm gonna I'm doing a little experiment with my phone here. See if I can get a better picture. I dropped the exposure rate down to minus two on my phone. You can see that coral on the right side now. See how the green is? I mean really nice fluorescent green. I'm gonna try zooming in just to see what happens. Well, there you go. There's what it looks like. Uh, let's go really slow. Let's see if I can keep my zoom in on these guys. How they look in the dark. But I've got only the actinic lights on. And like I said, the exposure rate is down to nothing on my phone. So it's kind of interesting to... do this the hardest part is to keep the focus in on these guys at this low rate that's working so far It's trying anyway. That one's like so small, it's really hard to get any good picture of it. It's the little hairs around it is so small. I really doubt I'm going to be able to actually get anything good out of it for now, anyways. And then up here. Oh, I found the little starfish. He's. Let's see if I can get in on there. No, nope, I can't. But if you see that little white speck right there below that coral, that's the starfish. Little tiny guy. I'm like super imposed as far as zoomed in right now. So. About as good as I can get it though. Can't really zoom in much more. Gonna give the phone credit, it actually does pretty good considering that it's a phone. But I thought that'd be kind of cool to try to mess with this thing and get it. But yeah, that now it's actually showing the, pretty much the true color of that top coral up there. Not really sure what kind of coral it is. I'll have to see if one of the names that guy had I had bought four corals from had written the actual name down on it or for that one or not but that's the actual color it's a really fluorescent green and really tough to catch in light and this guy is not so bad he's really cool looking too and then these guys I'm guessing this is some sort of torch again I didn't we ask for names. I guess I should have, but they were so busy, you know, I didn't want to ask petty questions when it came to the names and whatnot, which I don't know if that was actually smart or not, but that's the case nonetheless. All right, I'm going to move my piece of makeshift cardboard over here so you can see what I did. I put my cardboard up there to uh, try to block a lot of that light. <laughs> So, I'm going to switch it over to this other side and see if this helps drop some of this light rate on this other side to help out or not. Might actually be dancing, it's too much. I guess I'll just leave it like that with these. And that's the. Uh, the ache in there in the back. That's a really cool looking coral. It's like red, black, and white. And here's the pulsing Xenia. Thanks Andrew for elaborating on what it is. As you can see it's actually doing what it says, pulsing. 
it weighs around a little bit from the water but not a whole lot but you can see the actual pulse is going on so that's pretty cool I found out that my sand arrival is not going to be until the 21st they screwed me so I'm not going to wait till the 21st then my salts are definitely coming tomorrow so what are you going to do there's the purple mushroom nice mushroom and then there's this guy again I didn't get the name spot nonetheless it's a really nice looking coral I'm gonna try to go online and see what I can come up with as far as names versus pictures and whatnot here's the alien eye let me see if I can get him to come in this thing is huge I can't believe how big this thing is yeah he's being a toughie see what I can do. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a zoom on this one. There we go. That's just a wild looking coral. I know it's an LPS coral, so it'll be a little tougher than some of these, but I'll do what I can to make it good. I read that it's actually an aggressive growers so if anybody's got any advice on how you frag these guys or whatever the case is you know let me know because if it's going to turn into a big monster coral I definitely want to be able to trim it down to save some room in here because like I said, he is massive. He's four inches. I mean, you look at him compared to them other frags. That is one giant coral. <laughs> but he was free, so that was pretty cool. Free is always good. There's a nice picture of that Eakin now. It's bringing out a lot of really nice colors out of it. But this is all actinic lighting only. I changed the uh, timing on the actinics. I'm going to leave them running a little bit longer at night. And then after that, moonlight's going to be on until about 2 in the morning. And then after that, they'll be out. And then everything will restart at about 8 o'clock in the morning with the actinics. And then the daylights will be coming on at that point. But that's what we have going on. My little mushroom doesn't like to show up in any light. Uh, he's definitely down there. Kind of lost track of where he is even in this light. That might be him right there in the middle. But, yeah, I'm really happy. At least my mushrooms, they hung in there, man. Especially through this toughness. I've been trying to keep an eye on this rock over here to see if anything else has popped up. There's the existing one. But I, I noticed right up on top, let me see if I can find it. No, it's not going to come up, but right on top in this area is another possibility that I found another piece of the mushroom so I'm going to keep an eye on it but it's right there on that black curved looking thing on the back side of it I can't get a picture of it uh, I believe that's where it's at somewhere in there but it's just like a little tiny speck of something that resembles the same color as this mushroom here so I'll keep watching and see what's up hopefully that would be great but all right, anyways, I just figured I'd give a shot of this thing in the darkness with the actinics on. Let's see how it looks and give a better idea how these corals actually look. My fish kind of look goofy under this color, but not bad. It looks pretty cool. 
Yeah, you can see how that top of that one changed as soon as I removed the cardboard. But anyways, all right, guys. Sorry for the long video. Just want to kind of show you what it looks like under the actinics. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good evening.